be, she would be able to drag you down with up air, oh which they God. actually patched out. It would be up air into footstool, and you would just do that across the stage over and over again. It's and Umeki was the founder for that. I saw that. That was even even back in Brawl, I think he played, right? Yeah. And the thing is, when you are sticking to one character that is actually good or viable, rest in peace puff, in every single game since Brawl, you really have a fundamental understanding on how to make approaches, how to also make recoveries, how to not get overwhelmed by certain characters. And no matter how many matchups are in the game, like obviously ultimate being the most, uh -huh. it just takes a little more knowledge, a little more know-how, and then after like a bit of studying, you're right back up there on top knowing every matchup once again. And you know what's interesting about this matchup in particular is uh, I spoke to Leo, and after watching Leo play Ling Ling not too long ago, I'm, I'm oh, the turn up re grab into fair? Yeah. It was actually a really good position. Oh, and the counter actually getting this turn up to hit Umeki instead. But um, Leo, Leo and I were talking, I was like, honestly, like Joker looks like he beats Peach. And he agrees with me. And he, uh, Leo actually has to play like three peaches back to back. Of course, Umeki playing Daisy, but yeah. it was Ling Ling, Umeki, and I believe the last one is Samsora. Yeah, so. those are like those are like the peaches really pushing the meta as far as they can. They're also the ones who can land like the loop combos, like zero percent down tilt, almost to death every single time. That's oh, yeah. one of the hardest strings. Yeah, them to pull and Mute Ace too. Mute Ace is oh, also Mute Ace, like on that come up too. Oh, Whoa! back air coming out. You try to float around Joker, and that's what you're gonna find yourself, especially so close to the blast zone like that. Okay, and he's got his own backer to answer right there. Of course, so strange that Joker, his recovery in some ways feels better without uh, without Arson, right? Because you can just snap to the ledge and you go really, really quick. Tether recoveries are excellent in so many situations, but of course, I've heard many people say that Joker is top tier. I've heard some people say he's the best character in the game, and I'm like, hold on a second. Oh, whoa, whoa. I, don't, uh, I, I, I think it's a little too no, early, but I definitely think Joker is a really good character. He's I mean, Leo's solid. been displaying that just alone just as a player playing Joker. He's been getting a lot of results with his character, and I feel like he's honestly pushing the meta so far. Yeah. And I love that side B, especially with Arson. Such a good projectile. Oh, yeah, he's so on. Ooh, oh, I love the Jack Jelly up air right there. Up air. Umeki right now going toe to toe with MK Leo on this game one. Gonna just have to the ledge, keep it safe. You gotta do a mix up off the ledge, right? You go for a downer, sometimes you can go for a fair. MK Leo, great oh. mix up recovery, going deep and then high. Yeah, he honestly went really low to avoid those down airs because Umeki was ready. Of course, you know that Joker doesn't have a hitbox when he recovers with Arson and even without yep. Arson. So you have to try to capitalize off of that situation whenever you have Joker off stage. And if it's one thing that every Peach or Daisy, top Peach or Daisy has in common in this game, it's that deep forward air off a chain. It's so deceiving how far it goes, and it kills you at relatively early percent no matter what your character is, especially if you're not ready for that DI. Okay, using the gun projectile, trying to stay neutral. In interesting use of the guns. Yeah, he actually uses the guns a lot, especially in this matchup, because since Daisy slash Peaches really like to float and right. jump and use their aerials, oh, he Ooh. air dodged. He air dodged. That's a very crucial mistake right now. Yeah, Umeki, that's the last thing he wants against a character like a player like MK Leo. He yeah. loves the lead. He yeah. loves staying here and making that lead as far as possible, especially if you're a bit, like a little demoralized off of SDing. This is where he strives. Yeah, and when he has the lead with this, I was gonna say, well, I mean, he doesn't. It's basically even at this point, but whenever MK Leo has the lead with Joker, yeah. um, he he slows down his pace of the game immensely. Ooh. Who gets a drag down from the upper into a grab? It. Both these characters have, actually have a drag down meta. It's kind of cool. And right now, not a single percent MK Leo. Keeping this last lock clean. There we go. Backer to backer to backer to there. <laughs> oh, oh my. Oh my. Damn. Umeki, we saw this displayed at Frostbite. Umeki's with these backers, actually just pressuring his opponent with all these so fast backers too. My goodness, that was, that was fast movement. I was, I was stuttering myself. Now, MK Leo gets the edge, about even percent right here, but one forward smash or forward air! Wow, that, that killed! Here. Yeah, I, I, Arsene's Ganondorf. <laughs> it's like killed. It's like a second Ganondorf that your character has, I swear. <laughs> and it reached so low, too, because you saw Umeki was trying to space behind him a yeah. little bit, and he was even kind of below MK Leo when he kind of scooped him up with the back air. That was a valiant effort, though. Umeki was really making MK Leo sweat right there. I already could imagine Umeki's probably wondering, like, what if I didn't SD in that moment? That's true. The SD was, uh, any player, given, especially if you're going out for an edge guard, whenever you go deep for an edge guard, there's a small chance that just the RNG of whatever option your opponent and you are choosing at the same time, sometimes an SD happens. Because yeah. you want to go for an air dodge, maybe you're a little lower than you expected. It happens sometimes in any Smash game. The, what, to me, marks a player's, like, experience and how good they do is how they act after an SD or a fatal mistake. How they're able to go for the comeback, of right. course, because, you know, that's an, issue, that's an issue that you have to mentally get over as well as a player. Yep, you have to overcome adversity. And speaking of overcoming, great opening from Umeki. 
Oh, and the patience, but he, he, what? he still waited, and the counter still was yeah. able to rack up Arson percent. Do you think he, he was saying, that's fine, I let him have the charge, or do you think he made a mistake right there? I, I think he honestly waited, and it just was lasting that long. It lasts too long. Let's go for a grab there, I feel, especially if you're calling Yeah, out. a grab was basically the safest thing you really can do in that situation. Nair to come off that time, and now, okay, clever from Mecha getting out of that danger zone. You do not want to mess with any of Arson's aerials. Ooh, the down air actually just negating the side B right there, too. I like it. Yeah, the dash attack coming out from Arsene, though, that's also super strong. What? Oh, that was so smart. He's already half charged. That was incredible. He knew exactly when he was going to be out of charge. And now he... Wow. He was literally a that's step ahead right there. Not only that, it did damage, too. Yeah, it did damage. He was able to charge up the meter, and he lost Arsene right in that moment. So it literally just benefited him all the way. That's the level of optimization we've come to know and love from MK Leo. Oh, Ooh, Stitch Face! Whoa! That's Daisy's persona right there. <laughs> <laughs> Stitch Face coming out. I always, it's interesting that this game compared to like Melee where it does so much more percent, but Knockback relatively not nearly as much as you would expect. That's more of the bomb's job in this case. Oh, yeah. You right see, there, just I, go for the grab again, there. Wait it, wait it again, yeah. yeah, but going for the grab probably would have been the best option again. Just because even if you're going to wait, you don't want to risk it. Exactly. Because then you're charging our send meter, and at this percent, Umeki doesn't want that either way. That back there, you sneak in and take the stock. There's something about aerials like Joker's back here where, you know, maybe they're not super strong, uh -huh. but the speed alone makes it such a vital and useful tool in those last hit situations. Oh! oh my, the parasol. He doesn't care. That double-edged sword. We got that high recovery out. Okay. That great drift getting back into yeah. the ledge safely. I love that recovery. And then both players whiffing on shield. Umeki Bale. Oh, they're oh, the bomb! Did I he bless him? You oh, my. Yo, he, he missed so narrowly. MK Leo fastball so low okay. by the ledge. Wait, right wait, there. wait, wait. Did MK Leo realize his meter was going down, then went lower on purpose in order to attend the recovery, in order to avoid the bomb? I, 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 honestly, to stall it out like that, I don't even blame him at that point. Who is this kid? Actually, we He's all know genius. who this kid is. He's a genius. He's a genius. Oh, the down smash okay, coming out. Great. Oh, great way to end that stock, too. Goes both sides, and honestly, a down smash is an easy mix up, too. Are you going to face left or right? Because then the second hit goes a little later than you expect. Mm -hmm. Oh, look how Umeki's yeah. actually just trying to dance around MKLeo. He's using the gun. Him. Yeah, yeah, using the gun. He's forced to approach now. Yeah, exactly. And even then, like, if you jump while MKLeo's using the gun, like, it's going to stop you out of your own jump, and you're going to find yourself staying grounded. Up throw to up air to back air. I like these bread and butter combos. Okay, went for the grapple, but didn't quite hit. And he's almost still at full rage again. Oh, oh he can't move. Oh, if he had, oh, oh my god. The pseudo infinite, and there's arson. MK Leo has an answer to everything. Okay, finally Umeki looking for a grab there. Yeah, Come on, grab. That empty hop into a grab. Oh, predicting the tech roll yeah. back. That's gonna be 20% on Umeki though. That's little by little as it racks up. So right here, if you're Mecha, do you just wait out the storm? It, honestly, the best bet that you could do whenever Arsene's out like this, oh especially when you're old, that kill, God. he had rage. The Mexican sniper. He he really, he was close to the blast zone. Oh, he's beating himself up for that one. He was close to the blast zone, and he had rage. I think that uh, Arsene's side B is the best project on the game. It does 20% it's, over time. It's It goes out so fast, it kills. And you can ladder it too. I've seen. It's I've seen. Actually, MKLeo was doing it earlier, where you could do it by the ledge and then do a full hop and yeah. then do it again. And it, that's the second one always guarantees to kill because I, it's so close to the blast zone. I remember one time where I was streaming and I had six thousand viewers because I was the first like person to get a uh, Joker out of the top players. Oh, lucky because all the all the networking so, things were down too. Because yeah. <laughs> I spent so for for ten minutes with my six K viewers, I was testing out Joker stuff. <laughs> And when I saw what Arson's side B did, I was like, this thing is going to be so exploited by some of the top players here. And as we see right there, netting MK Leo, that game two win. Umeki now a very steep out of the climb against arguably the best player in the world. Again, hitting that counter, racking up more Arson meter. Just like that. And just like that, you're even. You're on even, you're on even grounds. How many up airs? Okay, there's a good answer. Down throw, no back air. I like that. Down throw, Nair. Yeah, about down 30%. throw, Nair instead, because he knew that MKLeo was going to get popped up a little bit higher. Ooh! That almost killed. That's what's out of shield to answer that Nair. Float cancel by Umeki. Back air, not quite going to do it, but now 116. Floating back a little bit more. A little bit safer here. Yeah, floating back, but it's also so risky. You get hit by that dash attack, especially with Arsene. Doesn't even matter. You're going to lose your style. Ooh! It really is pick your poison. Like, any of Arsene's uh, moveset is just super strong. I like that little play with the grapple hook off stage right there on the right side when MKLeo was recovering. And th this is his neutral, right? If you, when you're not Arsene and you're Joker, you're dancing on the platform. And that should be the sub. 
that's important. Oh. This should be the set. That's fine. Th it's it's unfortunate. Th I'm, it's I'm unfortunate. actually sad to see it. It's unfortunate, but that also affects your mentality yeah. and yeah, just yeah. the face of the game at you this don't. point. And Kaleo has three oh stocks. My. Oh no. Oh my god. Yeah, Leo. Drag down on the nair, or sorry, on the up air. Oh, gets the wall jump. It's a gun. Yeah. His movement with gun as well is just phenomenal. Look at that! The little, yep. the little tether That's right the there things. by the with, by the ledge actually increasing his movement. Goes to the down air pressure on the shield. And even that back throw won't kill. Oh, <laughs> how good do you have to be to make Peach or Daisy look like they don't have kill options? <laughs> like actually though, he's just living. Oh, you can. Do, he no. he literally could not have kill? done anything at that point. Did that and kill? It, it did, and did he was kill funny, at the parasol. The parasol actually he was like at 170. Um, the so parasol done. always. Scoops up Vicky. by the ledge like that with the hitbox. I, <laughs> I actually killed it like really early. And it just killed him at 90. <laughs>